Neon tester. The amount of voltage in a circuit cannot be determined by neon voltage testers or neon circuit testers. They can only determine whether voltage is there. They have two short wire lines with a metal probe on each end, a little body with a neon light inside, and two of them. This gadget is dependable because it doesn't require a battery, slip joint pliers, they can crimp sheet metal, loop a wire, cut soft wire nails, remove cotter pins, hold or bend flat or round stock, and if necessary, loosen or tighten a nut, combination pliers, they can crimp sheet metal, loop a wire, cut soft wire nails, remove cotter pins, hold or bend flat or round stock, and if necessary, loosen or tighten a nut, Needle nose pliers, in addition to being used by electricians, network engineers, and other tradespeople to bend, reposition, and snip wire. Needle nose pliers are also known as long nose pliers and snipe nose pliers, linesman pliers. Electricians use lineman's pliers to push, pull, grab, twist, and straighten wire. They are employed to extract staples and nails as well as cut and bend light gauge metal. The exterior edge of the jaw's angular edges is intended to rim down burrs and ridges on the inner lip of cut pipes. Wire stripping pliers, similar to a pair of pliers or scissors, are wire strippers. Although most wire strippers can handle a variety of jobs, their main function is to remove the insulation from wire ends. Slotted cutting blades found in the stripper's jaws help to achieve this. Ball pin hammer. The ball pin hammer's initial purpose was for pinning or hammer shaping metal products. One end of the head is ball shaped for this purpose. Driving is done with a flat end on the other, claw hammer. A claw hammer is a type of hammer principally utilized in carpentry to drive or remove nails from wood. A claw hammer has traditionally been employed in woodworking, although it can also be utilized in other situations. Adjustable wrench, an open-ended wrench with a movable jaw is known as an adjustable spanner. Although it serves the same purpose as a standard spanner, which is to grip fasteners like nuts and bolts, only adjustable spanners can do this because of their movable jaw. Drill machine, most frequently, drills are used to make holes and to insert screws and other small fasteners. Grinding machine, a grinding machine is a tool for removing material that has cutting blades that are geometrically non-defined and bonded and rotates or lines up with the workpiece. Handsaw, handsaws, commonly referred to as a panel saws, are used in carpentry and woodworking to shape pieces of wood into various forms. The goal of doing this is typically to put the pieces together and carve a wooden object, hacksaw. Hacksaws are mostly used to cut metal although they can also be used to cut wood and other materials. For instance, plumbers and electricians frequently use them to cut plastic conduit and pipe. Spirit level. Using a spirit level, you may determine whether a surface is parallel, level, or perpendicular, plumb, to the earth. The mineral spirit solution inside spirit levels gives them their name, pipe wrench, to grip or spin pipes or circular bars. Use the adjustable pipe, or a stilson, wrench. This wrench has jaws with serrations, one of which pivots on the handle to provide a firm grasp on the job. Flathead screwdriver. Using a flathead screwdriver, which has a wedge-shaped flat tip, you can tighten or loosen screws with heads that have a straight, linear notch in them. The ubiquitous flathead screwdriver is possibly the most widely used tool in the world. Phillips screwdriver. Phillips screwdrivers, also referred to as crosshead screwdrivers are among the most popular kinds. A Phillips head screwdriver is what, though? The alternate name for these tools is a cross screwdriver since they are made to fit screws with Phillips heads, which have a cross-shaped depression. Chisels, chisel, a cutting instrument having a sharpened edge at the end of a metal blade is used to dress, shape, or manipulate a solid material such as wood, stone, or metal. It is frequently driven with a mallet or hammer, ampere meter. An ammeter is a device used to measure electric current in amperes, either indirect current, DC, or alternating current, AC. Because only a tiny fraction of the current is sent via the meter mechanism at high values and the majority is carried by a shunt in parallel with the meter. An ammeter can measure a wide range of current values, frequency meter. A frequency meter is a tool for counting how many times an electromagnetic waveform repeats in one unit of time, 
typically one second. Voltmeter, a voltage meter, usually referred to as a voltmeter, is a device that measures the voltage or potential difference between two points in an electrical or electronic circuit. Direct current DC circuits are the intended usage of some voltmeters, whereas alternating current AC circuits are the intended use of other voltmeters. What meter? An instrument for measuring the electrical power of electrically powered devices is a watt meter. Watt meter is a special tool for managing energy savings and power usage monitoring. Digital gadgets with LCD displays that were formerly widely used, lux meter, a light meter, also known as an illuminance meter or lux meter, is used by lighting professionals to gauge the quantity of light in a room or on a specific work surface. The light meter features a sensor that detects light falling on it and calculates illumination for the user. Clamp meter, a clothespin shaped tool called a clamp meter, can be used to clamp around a live wire and measure the current it is carrying. Clamp meters use the magnetic field created by current flowing in a wire as a measurement principle to determine the current value. Scissors, to properly cut cables, copper sheets, peel insulation off wires, clean electrical boxes and crimp connections. Electricians use special shears or scissors, open wrench, open-ended and box wrenches fasteners like nuts and bolts can be loosened and tightened with these tools. They are available singly or in a set, with one end being an open wrench and the other being a boxed wrench. Trowels. A trowel is a tiny, flat-bladed instrument used for plastering walls and other surfaces using materials like cement. Test lamp. A portable lamp with a socket and free leads that can be connected to different parts of a damaged circuit to find a flaw, as a blown fuse, a steepy ladder, a self-supporting, foldable ladder with an A-frame is called a stepladder. It has two side rails on the front and two on the back. Typically, there are bracing between the rear side rails and steps mounted between the front side rails. Try square a tool for laying off right angles and determining if work is square that consists of two straight edges placed at an angle to one another, reference, Canva Images, EDU.